In this video, we're going to take a look at the calendar and assignments from the perspective of a student. You'll notice that I am masquerading as a middle school student, um, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is you'll, I'm going to navigate to the calendar. This is something you can just sort of sit back and watch, nothing necessarily for you to do in this particular video. I'm going to go ahead and select on calendar, and you'll notice that um, as I was logged into a student um, right now, I am the in the agenda view. This is the view that we recommend for most students to use because this is the view that will show them the date of the assignments uh, that they have forthcoming um, and the date that they are due. You'll notice that these colors um, align to the colors in the calendar is located here on the right hand side. The other thing that you'll notice too is that um, right now, um, as of January 2016, Canvas limits the number of calendars that can appear in agenda or month or week view to 10 calendars. So what does that mean? It means that I can turn calendars on and off, uh, such as wellness. When I click that calendar on, um, the the first 10 calendars will be the only ones that show up and it will automatically turn off uh, the next uh, calendar. So for example, uh, the personal calendar 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So any of the other calendars one will not show up and I can always turn those calendars off by selecting them. So it's an important um, item to realize because as you'll see here I have uh, an assignment uh, for Chinese 7 and when I flip that calendar off it's no longer in my agenda view but when I click on it it will uh, show up accordingly. Uh, from the student point of view um, they can simply hover over an assignment and click on it to get the title for what the assignment was named so study for this unit test, uh, the calendar in which it appears, uh, any details, uh, so here's some great instructions about what I've been required to do, as well as any attachments that have been placed into this assignment. So when I, as a student, click on this review sheet and open it, um, I will see a uh, unit review sheet for um, my class up here as a Microsoft Word document. Um, this allows me as a student to go ahead and really think about um, my week ahead um, and uh, determine what assignments I want to get started on. Every assignment uh, may have uh, different contextual information associated with it. So you can see in the Science 7 course um, there's information about what is required to submit the assignment. Um, in my math course um, I can see that it's simply uh, asking complete uh, extra practice assignments and then in my Chinese assignment um, my assignment uh, written in, in Mandarin Chinese. So this is a really brief overview of the agenda view um, and how that relates to assignments. Uh, the other view that is available to students is the month view. What can be challenging again in the month view is assignments can stack up uh, fairly quickly. So that's why we recommend for most students to start with using the agenda view. In a subsequent video we'll take a look at how to create an assignment from the perspective of a teacher and we will recreate uh, this very assignment uh, study for our unit test uh, 